What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We have a Michigan beer, guys, from Arvon Brewing Co. This is going to be the triple Voyager. Really nice wraparound label. Uh, good can art, guys. They're notoriously known for solid can art and even better known for great dippas and even trippas like today, guys. This is Triple Voyager, like I said, it's 10.5%, no slouch to the ABV. Uh, and we have a triple New England style IPA with Galaxy, Mosaic, and Citra hops, guys. Some of my absolute favorites. I'm sure this is hopped like crazy if I know Arvon. Uh, I have a lot of experience with their beers at this point in time. This was canned on October 14th, and today is November 4th. So, uh, getting a little bit older from what I typically enjoy or like buy if I'm going to be that craft beer snob, guys. I do like uh, big ABV New England styles and West Coast beers within two weeks. That's just kind of my nerdy thing that I kind of have my rule of thumb for. But other than that, it's fine. It's not going to be that degraded. It's probably nice and well canned in here, guys. Let's go to the pop. Okay, not as big of a pop as I thought, but let's see what we're working with. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm knocking out this review really quick because I have a fridge full of beer, guys, and I'm actually traveling downstate this weekend. So if you're seeing this video, um, I'm I'm actually, as of tomorrow, Friday, going to be headed downstate to see my family and be in my friend's wedding. So I'll be kind of downstate for the weekend, guys. Anyways, I want some tips on where to go. I've, there's so many breweries. I want to I check them all out. It makes me mad every time I go downstate. A new one opens like every other month, I swear. Um, so... Yeah, she's hazy, guys. She's a monster. That's that golden OJ. It's that golden uh, orange juice, that golden, uh, well, OJ and orange juice would be the same thing, uh, golden yellow, I should say, just that absolute golden, uh, dark, murky orange, just kind of muddy looking. Um, trying to get some more of that light in here. Let's see. Too much light. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 still got this uh, orangey darkness to it, guys. A little bit of that uh, slight grayish uh, murk to it, uh, nice sudsy foamy head, uh, a little bit around a pinky, and it seems like it wants to dissipate, but it's uh, gripping onto the glass a little bit, guys, and it's sliding down. It's kind of oily and thick. Uh, yeah, we don't have to keep going on about that. Let's go to aroma. I don't even know what this is. It's a, it's, it's a bowl of citrus fruits. Um... Dull peaches, pineapples, grapefruits, uh, with the the syrup in it, uh, and then there's like a bowl of 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 grass too. It's grassy. It's almost slightly dank. Um, um, just absolute grassy citrus and tropical fruit abundance, guys. It's just ridiculous. Sweet, sweet, bready. Um, uh, maltiness that comes off the top but it's it's so overwhelmingly juicy that you kind of forget about the malt bill on this guys it's all those citrus notes it's all those uh, tropical fruit and peachy notes uh crazy just crazy crazy citrus bomb in here guys it's a juice bomb if i've ever seen one uh, and smelled one so i can keep going but i'm not gonna waste your time let's dive in guys it's the triple voyager from arvon Man, I've been doing this lately, guys, where the card gets full and I just keep rambling and I don't know when the video stopped at this point. But what I was saying is this is a glass of awesomeness, guys. It's super dank. And not super dank, but kind of grassy, kind of Lagunitas vibes. It's got these uh, big citrus bursts. I mean, just syrupy, dull uh, grapefruit uh, and diced mangoes and pineapples with the syrup, guys. I'm trying to tell you, with the syrup. But what's so nice about Arvon is you get that crazy kind of juicy sweetness on the front, uh, that that doughy kind of crackery sweet honey malt bill, uh, sourdough kind of bread vibes on here. And then you get towards that back end, guys, and you get hit, you get hit with a little bit of that warmth, that 10.5%, but it's so buttery and smooth. Uh, it, but you get this dry bittering that just hits you a little bit of that pine dank resin in there, uh, and it just slaps you around, guys. I mean, it just it tries to balance out that sweetness on the front end, and that's what Arvon always does so well. I feel like I say that all the time. Uh, the balance is incredible, incredible for being 10.5%. It's insane. It's chewy, but it's creamy. Um, it's a bit soft, but it's it's forceful on the back end. Again, kind of that big hot punch, but you're getting those big citrus notes. Maybe a little bit of that melon kind of berry, uh, uh, dank, uh, grape, winey kind of vibe in the middle. 
And then again, guys, a little bit of that dose of grassy bitterness, uh, slight dank bittering on the back end. There's nothing much to say. It's an absolute beast of a beer. Why go on and on about it, guys? It's a freaking awesome triple uh, from Arvon. It is what it is. It's too smooth, too. Like, this is dangerous. Super dangerous. I hate how smooth it is. <laughs> this will get you messed up, man. Good thing I'm not driving tonight. Uh, don't drink and drive. Four point three seven out of five. Yeah, that's what I'm sitting on, guys. It's a beast. This has been the Triple Voyager from Arvon. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Probably won't see some reviews from me for a few days at least. So uh, bear with me on that, guys. I'm traveling, so I'm uh, gonna go see my friends and family. I'm over and out. It's been another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews.